Hello dear Capricorn, here's a reading for you. If you are a sun, moon or, sign, or rising sign, Capricorn. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, if you're watching this, I also recommend uh, to watch other signs. I mean, your, your moon sign, your rising sign and your sun sign, sun sign. This is a very simple reading. Starting point, unfolding and culmination. As a starting point, you have Knight of Cups, which is an offer. Offer of love, offer of feelings, offer coming from the heart. It can come to you, but this can also be your energy, offering something to someone, something very precious. This night is uh, quite romantic, quite slow moving, but very careful about what he's holding in his hand, because it's very precious. There's a precious offer here uh, appearing. So this is the starting point, the, the, the offer, the acting out of love. It can be very creative, I feel, especially that the next two cards are wands, and these are the masters of wands. King and queen, unfolding king of wands, someone who uh, entreprene <laughs> from French, so he takes into his hands, something into his hands, enterprise, mm. doing something with great skill, with great mastery. Um, it's not, uh, perhaps uh, he's not very fast, but he knows how to keep the fire burning. And this is important. He won't burn himself. He won't burn anybody else. No, he's safe. But he's steady. And his fire is burning in a very steady way. So there is this acceptance here, I feel. There is acceptance coming. You may decide to accept this offer. Or someone you're offering this to may choose to accept it. Then I saw Queen of Wands in the spread as a culmination. And it's the same suit. And whenever I see the King and Queen of the same suit, I think about a couple. So for some of us, so for, for of us, because I'm, I'm Capricorn Ascendant, for some of us, this will be an offer of love, like marriage or engagement or taking the relationship to another level. But also, if you are feeling that this offer is not, f that you're not sure that it's good enough for you, perhaps because it's too young energy, not responsible enough, not resourceful enough. If there, if you were feeling, if you have the feeling that something is lacking here, I think you finally recognize, because she's recognizing something, that this is a good offer. It's the same level. The king and queen is the same level. So this is a good partner here. Good partnership. Something you're worthy of. Definitely. So if you have troubles thinking about this, and you may have, because I've seen this spread already because I was doing it in my native language first. And I saw Nine of Swords. So there may be stress about it. There may be a ah, feeling of anxiety, not being sure. And definitely too much thinking here. Whenever I see Nine of Swords, I see the mind that is unsettled, that is tumbling and, and whirling and finding dangers everywhere. Don't do it. Your mind will always find something dangerous in your situation and your mind will always try to protect you from this, whether it's real or not. What to do with the mind? Don't let it. The mind has its great potential and great skills, but not here. There's too much thinking here. Don't do it. The advice for you is the High Priestess, and it goes very well. 
covering this. You already know the answer, says the high priestess. You feel it in your guts. You feel it's good. You feel it's good for you. You feel it's on your level. It's very much for you. And you already know it. Go after this. Because I was asking the cards, what bring what brings these people together there are three court cards here so there is something about not being alone not being singular here but being together and i received this card six of wands it's a victory card a very good card you go forward here you are recognized as a winner as a master again wands Fire, action, body, passion. And this says, we are stronger together. Let's get together. If someone's coming to you, if you're coming to someone, do everything to be together. Be sure this is a good offer if you are the one who's offering. Put your heart into this. Put all your skills, put everything you have, the best things you have. If this is someone coming to you, look at, look at it and see that this is something for you. This is good for you. This is definitely for you. Definitely. Because I see a couple here and I see a victory here. They are coming out of this victorious Huh? Grab this offer, especially that at the bottom of the deck you have four of cups, which is something uh, you prob you probably don't see in this spread. The card of the at the bottom of the deck means something that you don't see, but is probably quite obvious. And this card is all about missing uh, the, the the good opportunity to do something, missing an offer. Being too focused on downsides of things. Looking down instead of looking around. Don't let this offer pass you, says this card. Don't, because you'll regret it. It's a good offer, a victorious one, and you know it. You know it. If you are the one offering, do everything to be seen here. Because we are sometimes shy about what we are offering. And then when someone is not uh, very, you know, clever or not very, uh, how do you say it? If they miss it just for some reason, we are then, oh, perhaps it wasn't good enough. Oh. But when you put everything into your offer, it is very often recognized. And if it's not, then you are the one who's left with clear conscience. Because you can say to yourself, I did everything what was necessary for this offer to be seen. I was standing by my side. And this is the most important thing. There's nothing to be shy about it. It's good for you and it's, in, uh, it's making you stronger. Always, when you put your heart into what you desire, when you put your heart into the things that you really want, that you really care of, then you feel okay, even if it's not recognized. Because you recognized it and that's quite enough. But here I feel that, that would be a good thing for it to be recognized. So do everything to make it recognizable or to recognize it and accept it. Dear Capricorn, a good reading for you. I love it. Be together here. Take the offer. Have your eyes open and have your heart open. I wish you a wonderful month of April. I also recommend 
to watch your other signs, sun, moon and rising sign, because the messages are everywhere. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed and see you next month. Bye bye.